my channel or welcome to my channel if you were new. So today I'm actually going to be doing a hamster related video. I know I don't have a lot of hamster videos on my channel. I'm planning on doing more so stay tuned for that. So I have a great bar Russian hamster. His name's Finley. He's a boy. At least we hope because I've been calling him that for years. But anyways, today I'm actually going to be doing his cage tour. He recently got his new cage. He got it actually today. He's been in it for a couple of hours now, so he's been getting used to it. He's doing pretty good. Um, he's actually had three cages. Um, the first one, a lot of you guys were concerned because you thought it was really small. It wasn't that small as a theme. It was around 325 squared inches. I know it seemed a lot more smaller, but don't worry. He was actually on there for only like one month or so. And then I got him a new cage, which was also a bin cage, but it was a lot more smaller than this one. These are actually two bins connected. So I'm going to be showing you guys this cage um, that me and my dad build. And I'm really happy with how it looks and how it is. He has around five inches of bedding, so it's pretty deep. He has a lot of space to run around and borrow. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys his cage let's get right on to it all right guys so here it is i'm not sure how big each bin is but the whole thing is 558 squared inches he has around five to six inches of bedding on here he has an inch less because of his wheel because i don't want his um wheel stopping because of the bedding so he does have an inch less because sometimes he'll get stuck um i do check it before i go to bed though so he can run all night but still i am trying to prevent it as much because if i'm not here during the day or something. I don't want to get him stuck and him not being able to run because sometimes he'll go out during the day and play. So, yep, and this whole thing is like screwed to this um wood platform and um the um this net thing goes all the way down and it is I don't know if you can see it, but there's a wooden platform so the bedding would like go everywhere. So now I'm gonna show you inside. So First, you gotta open the lids or like remove the lids. And over here, the lids have these zip ties. So um, you don't have to like remove the whole thing and it's easier to remove and to like have a place to actually put it. Same on this side. Over here, this doesn't come off, but I don't really need it. We had tape put on the sides so he wouldn't like hurt himself because these edges over here were kind of rough. We couldn't really do much about it. Over here, these edges, we did sand them using some sandpaper so they would be smooth and they weren't like super rough and he can like cut himself or anything. So over here, if you were to close the lid, you can see he doesn't really have any space he could actually like escape from. That's the problem with dwarf hamsters. They're so small that they could just sneak through a little hole, but um, I made sure that he couldn't go anywhere. So his cage is dwarf hamster proof. Hopefully he doesn't go anywhere or find somewhere he could possibly escape. But anyways, over here we have his wheel. So it's not too big or too small for him. His wheel over here is around eight inches. So it won't give him any back problems or bend his back. I have this other wheel, which you'll normally attach to the um, net over here or to the cage. But what I don't like about this ones is that it's a lot more harder to like remove and to clean because it's hard to remove but as you can see it's very silent that's what it seems when you put it on it's a little bit more louder so i'm planning on getting him on um, a new wheel probably a flying saucer because those are really cool and they're not noisy so i'm planning on getting that one but i'm not sure if he'll do good with it because he's always had these kind of wheels so we'll see about that Anyways, next over here, you might see that he doesn't have a lot of chews around his cage. That's because he's into chewing, and I know that's not okay because the hamster teeth are always growing. I've tried everything, literally everything. I really don't know what to do. I tried peanut butter on the chews. There's barely any chewing. I don't know if you guys can see. But over here, he has this apple stick. He has like four of these, and literally, he has like never touched it. At least, I'm not aware of that. This little hideout here has like this little chew. He's chewed, I guess, but he's not really into chewing. He had this little hideout thing that was that's actually edible, but again, not a lot of chewing. I've tried everything. So if you guys have any other methods, leave them in the comments down below so you can help me out because I have no clue how to get into chewing. I've literally tried everything. So yeah, over here he has this hideout and it's got like these little charms on top, wooden charms. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm really bad with names. But that's that. They're really popular for hamsters. So that's that. Next, over here, 
he has this little popsicle bridge that I actually made. I made a lot of things out of popsicles, so if you, you want to know how to make them or anything like that, leave it in the comments down below and I can maybe make a tutorial on that so you can have one for your hamsters or mice or anything like that. So he has like this little bridge and this is supposed to be like the ladder side, but he'll climb on that side too, which is supposed to be the um, slide, but he's really good at climbing, so he doesn't really need the steps. Anyways, he has this toilet paper roll underneath because he likes toilet paper rolls. So that's All that. right, over here he has this little food dish and water dish. I normally do not do water dish. I did that at the beginning, but he he wasn't a water dish hamster because he would borrow up the whole place and get bedding in it and him, he would like end up with no water. So that's why I used water bottles. So he wouldn't get bedding into them. Normally I'll use water bottles, but I can't attach it yet because what I need, I don't have it yet. So I will get to that as soon as possible because he has already a bunch of bedding and you have to be cleaning it out a lot and stuff. So I prefer water bottles personally. And yep, but normally he'll have a water bottle. But for now he has a water dish. So yep, that's that. Well, next moving on, I have this like little house. And guys, don't worry, you will see him in this video. He's just right now sleeping. Well, I don't think he's sleeping. With all this talking, I'm not sure he's still sleeping. But anyways, this is like his little village. Over here, we have this really cute house that I made with popsicle sticks. That's a little entrance, and it has two really cute features that I added. So the first one is that not all the floor is like filled with popsicle sticks, so he still has a little spot to borrow. And he also has these little popsicle sticks on the sides that he can climb on and go out come outside this way also so it's like his little escape route so that's that next over here there's like this cake chew pretty sure he's never chewed on because literally looks brand new <laughs> so that's that next over here he has like this other little beach house these are both supposed to be beach house to like match my summer theme that I was trying to go for, but didn't really work. I don't. And think. as you guys can tell, I like things in this cage to be really colorful. I don't know if I've showed you guys this already. I'm gonna dig this up. Um, here there's the wooden piece. Pick that back up. But on here there is not actual wooden piece. You can see the cage, like the plastic bin. It looks like there's wood because it's clear, but it's really just this piece. And over here, what I showed you is that piece. You can't really see over here so that's that just thought to show you guys that if you're wondering so over here this beach house is a two-story little house on the top it's popsicle floor and on the bottom there's no actual floor so it's just the bedding so we can actually borrow and it has this really cute staircase um over here i'm out of breath Whew. over here he has this little plastic cup little hideout that i made recycling <laughs> So I just cut a hole on it so it would be the little entrance and on top so it could breathe because normally it would be really deep. So that's that. And next over here, he has like this little secret hideout that had a bunch of bedding on top but he took that off. So it's not that secret anymore but that is that. Sorry, they're moving things downstairs. Anyways, over here, if you lift this, you can see him. You see it's really deep so we can't tell he's in there but He's in there. I don't want to bother him. Buddy. I'll be right back. I think I see a little head there. Hi, buddy. He's super friendly. Hi. I'll be right back with you guys when he's out. Look who's out. Look at how deep that is. Wow. Where is he? Where is he? <gasps> there he is. I'm going to put that back on. Hi, buddy. <gasps> he went on the house. I don't think he's ever been there. See if he'll come out. I'm not sure he will, but he's super cute. Are you hiding from me? Hi! What is he doing? Come here. Maybe he'll want to go on my hand here. Do you want to come out? He's like, nope. Come here. <gasps> Did you just ignore me? Guys, he's super cute. I think he wants to jump off. There you go, bunny. Hi! Say hi guys. Oh, he's so sweet. Where are you going? Oh, he's going for the food, of course. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. He's in there right now. I think he's 
eating. Yeah, he's eating. Anyways, if you would like to see more hamster videos, leave it in the comments down below. I would definitely love to make more hamster videos and hacks and videos and tutorials or anything like that you guys would like to see. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!